What's good, Logic Gang? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today, we're going to use the new sequencer in Logic Pro X 10.5 to come up with a drum pattern. I already came up with a piano melody and an 808, which I'll let you hear in a second. But uh, what I wanted to mention is, uh, you know, a lot of you have been DMing me, asking me to do a tutorial on the new sequencer with third-party drum samples. And I feel like I figured out a pretty good way to do that. Before we get into all of that, I wanted to ask you guys for your support. If you can uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram, it's at CJ Beats NYC. And also be sure to hit that subscribe and bell notification so you're notified anytime I upload some new content. As always, I'll make the entire project file available for you to download. I'll put a link in the description. That's going to help you follow along with this tutorial. And secondly, you could use that project file as a template, uh, you know, to make new beats with. Okay, let's have a quick listen to the piano melody and the 808 that I already came up with, and then we're going to add some drums to it. Okay, let's add some drums to this. So I'm gonna use a new software instrument. Let's use the sampler, multi-sample with a multi-output. I hit X on my keyboard. Let's close out of that sampler for a second. I'm gonna expand that entire kit. Once that's loaded, you could turn off your mod matrix and modulators and turn on mapping. Once you come to the mapping, you could already see that I put various sounds on here. We got some uh, hi-hats at different pitches. Kick start at C1. Next octave up are claps. Next octave up are par uh, percussive pieces. Next octave, C4, are some snares. Some open hats start at C5. And some, um, and some vox effects start at C6. If I close out of the sampler, right click here and create a new pattern region, it's gonna automatically load that uh, sequencer for me. If I come over here, I can come to user templates. I already set myself up with a, uh, a sequencer template and let's turn that off. It basically maps all of my sounds already. It starts them at the next octave, C0, C1, etc. Once loading that template, it's also going to uh, change it to an eighth note pattern and a 32 step. So this way I know I can uh, loop off four bars. First thing I'll do is just drop in a simple hi-hat pattern and an eighth note. We can now, uh, you know, maybe use a clap. If you're not fond of that uh, C2 clap, let's go to D2. You could also come up back to your sampler and basically try them out. So I like E2. So I know I could set this to E2. Now I can drop my clap on all the threes. If you feel like that clap's not loud enough, there's one way to do it in the sequencer using the velocity. You could just bring up the velocity or down, however you feel. Maybe we could add some percussion uh, pieces here. Percussion starts at C3. If I go back to my sampler, I can preview some sounds here. I like D sharp three. I'm taking note of that down here. D sharp three is a nice one. So we could change that to a D sharp three. Now that we have some percussive pieces in there, let's go back to the hi-hat and add some rolls. So I'm just expanding that. We have velocity, gate, and tie. So I'm gonna start off clean here and just have velocity. And I'll go ahead and just make uh, you know some adjustments here to make it more human sounding. Basically every second uh, you know hi-hat I have at a different velocity level. Let's go ahead and add a new parameter. This one we'll use uh, is note. So now we could change the pitches of some of these.
Let's add one more parameter here. This time we'll use the note repeat. We can make some adjustments here and uh, have some hi-hat rolls. You can change the volume of those uh, rolls too so they're not too dramatic. Maybe this one have a higher pitch. And also compensate for the velo uh, velocity there. Let's add another parameter here that helps out. Uh, you can use the tie, basically tie two of them together, like so. So you can make hi-hat rolls longer. Use uh, one more really fast, high-pitched one at the end there. That sounds pretty dope. We can minimize that now. Maybe we'll use some open hats here. So C5, let's go back to our sampler really quick here. C5 is right there. I like this one right here. Take note of it, D sharp five. Okay, let's go to D sharp five. Let's see where we can uh, place this uh, open hi-hat. Let's expand that, bring the volume down a little bit. We can add a vox to this as well. Let's come here and change this to note. This way I can have different sounds on the same pattern. Change this one to velocity, bring the velocity down. If it's too short, you could tie them. Once those parameters are to your liking, you can hit X, go to the channel strips now, maybe add a delay to that Vox, so I'm gonna come here, go ahead and add a delay, so I'll come over to delay, tape delay, stereo. All right, let's unsolo that and see how it sounds. I think it could be a little longer, so I'll bring the wet up, bring the feedback up. Okay, now I'm going to copy this to this uh, other part right here because I'll want some kicks to start coming in, but not on that same pattern. So just basically duplicated it. Let's add some kicks. Let's make these uh, kicks. Let's make that kick pattern a little more interesting. I'm going to expand this. Let's change this to note repeat. I'll do like this, uh, you know, kick roll at the at the very back here. Let's lower those volumes a little bit. If I come back to the mixer, hitting X, I already routed that kick coming into the mono channel right here. I feel like it's a little too loud, so I'll drop it down a bit. I can, uh, I can highlight both of these now and bring it over to this other part. Let's have a listen to this. you guys enjoyed this tutorial I didn't want to make it too long but you could see that uh, there are lots of options um, with the new sequencer in Logic Pro X 10.5 as I mentioned before this entire Logic project file is available for download so if you're running 10.5 already feel free to download the project make your own beat out of it study it whatever you want to do if there's some tricks that you came across using this new sequencer you know feel free to 
uh, share it with the community by posting a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you're notified anytime I upload some new content. Really appreciate everybody's time. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.